Y'all, it's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I ain't mad at it though. Beautiful and peaceful. Y'all, those things are so comfortable. I fell asleep twice last night on them. <laughs> y'all, we was out here so late last night. We got a full day ahead of us today, y'all. I don't have anything planned. I see the girls cook cookies last night. And you know what I'm about to eat? Some ice cream. They be eating some of the Italian ice. Yup. Hey, we're on vacation. I don't normally do this, but hey, we on vacation. I just came in from sitting out there for a hot minute. We were out there for about 45 minutes, me and my mama, just soaking in life, I guess. <laughs> Beautiful life and just um, appreciating the little things, you know what I'm saying? That's why I decided to get on up and out. <laughs> Look at the dog. You're just looking at me, you see him? Look. Hey, buddy. day out here we are in um, Pompano Beach before we get on the cruise we stopped here obviously the Airbnb but 
I'm just chilling out in the sun, trying to get tanned. <laughs> but uh, got some tea right here. I always have tea. I don't usually eat breakfast like this every day. I usually just get a muffin or some coffee or something, but she cooked this breakfast. So having some tea, the delicious breakfast and I'm trying to read some of the word here, but my iPad acting funny. I didn't attach it to the Wi-Fi. I need to uh, download or update the app. So I can't use my phone. So I'm gonna use the uh, iPad real quick, but I hope everybody's having a good morning. Everybody's blessed in the Lord and have a good day. All right, y'all, so y'all seen me out here chilling, minding my own business earlier. I'm out here trying to read, get right in the morning, you know, eat my breakfast. So I was sitting in these chairs right here. So over here, I'm just sitting there, you know, I'm looking in my phone and stuff reading because I couldn't use my iPad that I showed y'all. And some dudes came walking up from right here. Like this, like the, this like the uh, side entrance or whatever. So it's like a little small gate over here. It's like a little small gate over. See that little gate right there? I don't know if y'all can hear me because he, he, he over there doing the thing. But basically I'm chilling in the chair, what y'all seen earlier. And dude walks up, it's like, First I see two, then I see like five. So there's like a total of seven dudes and they just kind of like looking around. I'm like, what the? So he walks over and he like reaching in his, like he like reaching in his uh back, like back right under his shirt, like pocket or something. So he like, yeah, uh, hey, we here to do the side. Hold on, let me turn this way. He like, yeah, we here to do the side. I'm like, what? I'm like, hold on, let me go grab something real quick. You know, usually I'm like paying really close attention to everything, like very militant when it comes to like, you know, stuff like that. So I get up, I just basically ignore him. I go in the house. I come back out with my bag strapped over my shoulder. Y'all know what that means. So I'm like, so I said, so what you here for? He like to do, oh, we here for the side. And I'm like, oh. they went to the front somewhere. So I go back in the house. I look out the front, I'm like, I see a truck. I see all the landscape in the crib, and so I'm like, oh, maybe he ain't lying. But I mean, the first initial meeting was kind of awkward for me because they just all, they just came in the back without, we didn't even know they were here. So, but they had a side truck. They had a truck full of side out there and like, you know, like all the landscaping equipment, but turns out they not doing the side. They just doing landscaping. So the side truck left, but it was a little, it was a little quick, little awkward moment. You know, people just showing up, just walking up on you like that and it was like like I said like seven of them so but that's all they kind of like messed up my breakfast I had to leave my uh I left my phone outside and the iPad I just left it all outside because I had to get up and go in the house quickly to see what was going on you know people rent Airbnb I don't know what be going on pop smoke it's, I know people know about pop smoke situation and all that stuff but it's a it's, it's a lot of those man especially in California people be waiting and watching the house you show up four or five dudes running your house they, that just happened probably a couple months ago in california to some tourists that, that rented an airbnb so you know that's all just be safe out there Oh, this lizard right yeah, here. It's a lizard. Yeah. Nah, yeah, he might be talking about that lizard, or it might be something. Nah, but else. he keep. Nah, look at him. He. What's out there? there? Huh? What's out there? That lizard <laughs> getting warm. Look, he's still looking. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, look. Let's see what he. You ain't gonna run unless you mess with him. Look at him. Look, look, right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one right there. 
these chairs are so comfortable. Me and my mom was out here this morning for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I would have got a little bit more footage. Who wants to just see me sit by the pool? Yeah, we just sitting here talking. And, uh, she loves it, so I am definitely happy I'm able to, you know, provide the little things. You know what I'm saying? Um, actually, this ain't little. <laughs> Why you play it? I don't know. It ain't big, big, but I don't know. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just happy I'm able to, um, you know, provide my family with memorable experiences and fun times. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, you all, because you are the reason I'm able to provide such things cruises trips vacations everything and uh, just beyond I, I just can't express how much I just want to thank y'all because y'all are amazing like <laughs> the support is so real over here all across the board and I, I truly thank y'all <coughs> Oh, I guess it's telling you it contains walnuts. Because, you know, some people are allergic to nuts. So to make sure they don't get sued, I guess. But hey, y'all, we, um, we've been back. We've been back from the beach. It was so hot out there. 
that beach, I don't really care for. To be honest, that was the dirtiest beach we've ever been to. They had some at every, I ain't just talking about like the uh, seaweed stuff. They had water bottles, water bottles toothpaste containers, all kind of containers. Um, just broken up plastic stuff. Um, what else? We seen a old rusted jar. We just came on back home and me and Cleveland just got out of the jacuzzi. And Maddie and Naya are still in there. Maddie pointing at me because she see me vlogging. Look at her. <laughs> uh, but Cleveland making some brownies. I bought this brownie mix here. But y'all know about this. This brand and the, um, like for me, I have to have walnuts and caramel in my brownies. That's a complete brownie for me. Usually when I want some, I just go to Jay and Jay will whip it up for me. So, Cleveland was like, he'll do it for me. I mean, I, I can do it. I know how, but you know, why when I got other people to do it for me? <laughs> yeah, we just came on back home and ate, you know, what we put on the grill yesterday. And, um, you know, like I said, we've been out in the pool for a hot minute. Oil. That's oil? No, that's water. Oh, I was about to say I look so thin. Why well, just need four cups of vegetable oil? That's a lot, right? So <laughs> say, I was about to say, ew. That'd be nasty. <laughs> it ain't even gonna set up. <laughs> Pro tip, always pour your wet mix over the bowl. Just in case you go over, you know what I mean? Pro tip, pro tip. And always mix your wet ingredients in one bowl and you dry it in the other. Oh my goodness. Pro tip, pro tip. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who don't know that? So we bought these um, pans from Publix. You need that whisk. Oh, over here in his oven. You gonna go the other way now? Yeah, like this. Why you ain't spelled Javlaz? So. <laughs> uh, no. Nah, it's gonna get a little. Yeah, look like a choke point right there. Uh oh. That big ball of <laughs> a choke point. <laughs> oh man, it's messing up. Cause... That big ball of caramel uh -huh. right there. <laughs> choke hazard. Let's go spray it out. Okay. What's the, you said 38? 38 to 42. This is why I'm big, bad, big, bad right now. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, he got a um, brownies from yesterday. Girl, the way I've been eating badly for the last couple days, I've just been really enjoying myself a little bit too much. And then we about to go on a cruise tomorrow. You already know how that's going to turn out. Me and Maddie been tearing this ice cream up. Ice cream for breakfast today. I don't want to do that now. You don't? No. <laughs> mm. I have something else you need. Oh, you get some food first and then. Sandwich or pizza bread or something. Honestly, this ain't no different from eating anything else sugary in the morning. Like a Starbucks drink, um, a donut. Mm. Anyway, yesterday was really nice when we came out here. Today is going to be a really humid day because. Hey, it's no breeze like it was yesterday, and it's real humid. Like, I feel like I'm just about to start sweating. Wet. We may mosey on over to the strip, Fort Lauderdale. But 
but that might be later on in the evening to be honest but yeah we did not like that beach yesterday and that's the first time i've ever said that about a beach that we went to and we wasn't planning on getting in like the water that's why we didn't have our bathing suits on i think maddie was the only one who wore her bathing suit and i wasn't gonna let maddie get in like too far like i'm talking about she had to be like right there because the rip current level when they had flags out at the lifeguard stations and it was yellow i already told y'all these sharks and these rip currents and something vicious and we just wanted to see you know what the beach was giving because we have never been there before you know we got our fort lauderdale all the time but like fort lauderdale hollywood pompano is that how you pronounce it pompano beach all right this sun is getting to me I ain't no sitting out here for an hour today I'm about to go in and chill i guess clear on filling the pool up with water because he said it's like this um filter or whatever that thing is over there it's like flapping and he's saying that's because i need some water oh y'all see it's about to pour down this cloud right here brought oh <laughs> our little buddy out oh he gone oh crap why am i still sitting here wait okay i'm leaving that ball <laughs> seats gonna be wet or the seats the chairs the chairs gonna be wet yeah the chairs gonna be wet the cover yeah once that sun hit it And less than five minutes later, we have sunshine. I, I should have known that it wasn't going to last that long because it's this cloud right here that brought the rain. But the sky and the palm trees never gets old to me. I don't think it could ever. They're just so beautiful. Like, I just love looking up at the clouds, especially when they like this one. I, I remember when I was younger riding the bus, like the city bus. <laughs> I used to just look out the window and look at the clouds and try to see if I can make out something like, oh, that looks like a dog. That looks like a cat. You know what I'm saying? We still do that to this day, every, especially when we go on road trips or whatever. But anyway, y'all hear this noise? Oh, they got a little baby lizard. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's this noise. That ain't what I was talking about. Too much maintenance for me. And even though Cleveland can do it, he know how to take care of a pool. He ain't trying to do it either. So who turned that on? It must be on a timer or something. Or maybe because it's getting the water is getting fuller. I don't know. Like I said, I'll leave that up to Cleveland. But he left. He went to he went to go get him a donut. I was like, he was like, you want a donut? I was like, nah, if I ain't had that ice cream. I would have. I ain't trying to get big, 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 big back. Oh, the skin is skinny. I can't stop uh, squinting though, because the sun is like, <laughs> out, ow, but yeah, the skin is skinny. Yeah. I seen him yesterday. Yeah. Huh. We decided to step out, check out the neighborhood by foot. So y'all here walking off cake. My mom had cake this morning. <laughs> I'm walking off ice cream. Cleo and you know he walking off muffins. So, lovely breakfast. Huh? Lovely breakfast. 
Right. You know them girls were still asleep, so we left their butts right there. If Naya wake up, she'll come texting me. Where y'all at? Can't fish off of this bridge. Got no fishing signs everywhere. Oh yeah. Hey y'all, we about to head out. We about to go to Fort Lauderdale. I know earlier or in the other vlog, I was saying that we we're staying in Fort Lauderdale, but close enough. I say that because that's the, um, you're familiar with that city, you know what I'm saying? But we are staying in Pompano Beach. How far is Fort Lauderdale from here, Cleveland? About 20 minutes? Oh, yeah, probably. And I don't know why this brownie tastes better today than it did yesterday. No, it's good today. I mean, it was good yesterday, but it's like extra good today. Maybe because it was still too warm. Mm -hmm. That's what it. That's what it was. And I don't like warm desserts. Like Cleveland would pop a, a apple pie in the microwave and warm up stuff. Like I don't like no. I know that's, that's the. That's the deal. Yeah. Cold apple pie. It's be warm. I like any dessert has to be room temperature or Ooh. cold. Like cake. Yeah, my cake has to be cold. Like, yeah, he'd like to have his cake. He liked to put his cake in the refrigerator. Yeah, cake has to be cold. Mm. But. Mm. Blueberry muffin. Did you? Oh, damn. Did you eat one yesterday? I mean, yeah, you ate some yesterday. You were waiting. Mm -hmm. She had her plate. Yeah, I had took it out of the oven and I had sat it there <laughs> to cool off. But I'm like, who put a plate next to it? <laughs> See, we are like, because you like, nobody likes caramel and walnuts in their brownies. <laughs> it's the best. And we all got our Stanley cups. Well, <laughs> mine's ain't a Stanley, or my mama's ain't a Stanley either, but we all got our cups full. We got a little thing yet. Oh. I got a mosquito bite. <laughs> But let me show y'all something real quick. So they have two different passes, an all day pass, which is $40. Um, and then we're gonna do, so that's what we're, we waited around for the evening pass, cause it's $25. And so we need five adults because so there's five of us. And choose today. And then it says Florida residents, we get an extra 20% off. So, put that in and took $25 off. Check out. We should be good to go. Come on, I'm water taxis over there. Ma'am, if you could have a seat for me. Ma'am, standing up. Thank you very much. I've got leg jackets for everybody underneath the benches. There's no smoking or vaping on board. A good idea to stay seated through the tour, especially as we're pulling into one of our stops or leaving a stop. So your tickets tonight are good until 10 o'clock. The boats stop running at 10 o'clock. So be on your final boat, very important. Be on your final boat by 9 p.m. so you can get back to where you started from. If you're on a dock at 10 o'clock waiting for a boat, we're going to wave to you on our way home. In Marine Electronics, believe it or not, they only use that house for a few weeks each year in the winter. The rest of the time, that house is empty. Now, I'm about ready to move into that guest house there on the road. They would never even know I was there. Neighborhood over here called Seven Isles, and it's named for the seven peninsulas that make up the neighborhood, and you can see them as we look south. What's unique about this neighborhood is that every single house in the neighborhood is waterfront. So you'll see there's peninsulas, there's a road down the middle of the peninsula, houses on either side, and they're all waterfront. We're actually looking at the back of these houses. The front is facing the street. The second peninsula, this white house, has the whole end of the peninsula to himself. 
And that was owned by John Evans. Uh, he's the founder of C-SPAN, the cable news network. There's an empty lot over here on the next peninsula, right over here on the right. That was just for sale. Now the for sale sign came down, so I guess that means they sold it, but it was listed for $18 million. And again, the closer we get to the inlet, the more expensive these houses are getting. $18 million just for the ground. got a house for sale over here on the right, uh, cream colored with those double twisted columns. That was originally built by Ted Turner and Jane Fonda. Now, they never got to live there though. Uh, they got divorced before it was finished. And that one's for sale. It's changed hands several times since then, uh, but it's now for sale for $25 million. Now, it's a lot easier than buying that empty lot and having to deal with the hassle of building a house. It's a much easier option. Over here on the right, this orange house with the orange tile roof, that's owned by a member of the Pillsbury family, like Pillsbury Dell, and that's Leyland Pillsbury's house. They get closed up for the summer. Close up for the summer, these are, most of these are winter homes. The next house coming up, it's uh, white with a brown tile roof. How many folks know the actor Matthew McConaughey? That's not his house. <laughs> How many folks want to get off at six? All right. We got off. No, thank you. All right, y'all. So we got off at a stop we never got off before. What's this place called, Cleveland? I don't know. Say Fort Lauderdale Aquatic. Yeah. Yeah. Is it safe to be jumping in the pool? Huh? Is it safe to be jumping in the pool? I mean, we did it like six times already. So. Yeah. I know, but that don't mean. 
I mean, you can go in here first. Um, you can't even stand up there. I can't even stand up. Oh, it's no diving. Like, no, no, can't no, dive. No, you're not supposed to dive in water like this. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's the TV is coming from the speakers. But I hear something over here. What is that? What is it? I know it was something big and black. And he is on top of the roof. Maddie, come over here. It was probably in the water because it was bad. Yeah, I saw it. I saw something. Maddie, come over here. <laughs> what, what is that doing? Come over here. I don't know. You probably put a water in the pool. It's gone. I don't know. I think it went in there. Exactly. Well, I don't know. I don't know. So we are back home. Oh, back at the Airbnb. We had a great time. Food, scenery, vibe, all that. Great. We love Fort Lauderdale. So um, I didn't pick up the camera that much. Uh, we are about to vibe out back here. I'm about to put my bathing suit on in a minute. The girls have already been out here for a good 45 minutes. Usually I just get in the um, jacuzzi, but it's really humid out here right now. I don't feel like getting up in there. Tomorrow we board the ship. So we're gonna leave here probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. Take us an hour to get to Miami, the port of Miami. And then we will be sailing away. So I will pick y'all back up tomorrow, of course. I'm about to end this vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the cruise vlogs. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow.